What's going on everybody? This is Sports Card Kid's dad. Back at you. Finally made it home from day two of the show in San Antonio. It was an awesome show. Gonna run through real quick what we what we did the second day, what we picked up. Um, as you can see the background's a little different. One thing I forgot to mention from day one, if you notice, I got the Nolan Ryan ball in its own case now. And if you'd seen it before, there was an autograph card that was with the ball that Beantown had actually picked up at a card shop where he lives. And I submitted the card that was autographed to JSA while we were there, and it came back fake. So he's going to check in to uh, see what they can do about that. But for the time being, the ball is stickered, authentic. Um... So we're going to leave it like that for now. Hope you like the changes to the background a little bit. And uh, we'll start off with, I submitted two more cards to Beckett for review. Just for personal collection. First off was uh, this Jair Alexander XR. Red parallel. Came back 995. And it's numbered at 299. So that's pretty neat. That's just going into our, our own collection. Second card also going into her own collection was Jair Alexander Green Retail Prism. Wow, that does look pretty cool. But uh, like a lot of Prism cards, they're hard to grade good. Came back a 9 with a 10 auto. And I guess I'm okay for, I'm okay with that. But it's just going in the collection. They ain't going nowhere. So I just like them. I like how they, they look in these raw sleeves compared to top loaders so we'll start off with the cards that we picked up starting off is this cracked ice contenders to 24 of Alex Verdugo I was super cheap and I think he's gonna be a good player so I went ahead and picked it up the guy didn't have change when I was buying something so he threw this in there pretty neat card Good deal on it. Next up, got a Josh Hamilton. Focus. A Josh Hamilton auto. River Dogs. It's got this little certificate with it. I don't know. I think I paid three bucks for it. But uh, we'll add it to ours collection of him. Next up is another Josh Hamilton auto. It's a Team Best 2000 Rookies, I guess, is the set. And it's autoed right here. And once again, I think I paid th three paid three bucks for this too. This says fifteen, but I only paid three bucks. It was at the end of the show, towards the end of the show, and it was in a box, and the guy didn't want to take him. And I wasn't going to pay that much anyways. But we also got a Rugnet Odor uh, Relic game use. And it's like a, the camo, camo jersey. Got a Willie Calhoun Spectra Auto jersey. It's not numbered, but it's a pretty cool looking card. We didn't have it. So we'll add it to our awesome little Willie Calhoun collection we got going and here's next cards are some pretty cool pickups I know baseball collector likes these cards got Flair Greats Auto and focus Flair Greats Auto and I forget the guy's name Marty Marion I think I, I think I paid like two bucks Two bucks. It's a beautiful card. A really cool auto. So if you need this baseball collector, let me know. Uh, you're pretty much the reason I got it because I know you like these. So I was thinking if you needed it by chance, just hit me up and I'll get it out to you. Next pickup is, I don't know if it's gold or orange. Jose Fernandez auto. Everybody knows what happened to Jose Fernandez. 
died in the boat crash. Uh, it's number 32 of 250. So that's a pretty cool pickup. Found it in the guy's box at the end of the day. Paid nearly nothing for it. It was a good picture. Uh, next up was an Alan Ginner card. Mini Auto. Christopher McDonald. And if you don't know who he is, the price is wrong. Played in Happy Gilmore. It's pretty pretty neat auto. And actually, the best pickup of the day by far was this right here. It was a two thousand? I think it's two thousand three Topps Gallery on card auto of Warren Spawn. And believe it or not. The guy sold this to me for 15 bucks. So you can't go wrong with a Warren Spawn auto on card. And you can tell he was already getting to the point where it was really rough on him signing stuff. So that's pretty cool. For 15 bucks, I'll pay 15 bucks for Warren Spawn auto all day, every day. Send him. Send them my way. So that's a pretty sick auto. Um, another cool thing we found is this 1992 Topps Micro Set. And I paid $2 for it. Still sealed. I suppose it comes with 12 micro pictured golds inside. So uh, that was a pretty neat find. I think there's a couple decent decent uh, players that year as far as rookies and whatnot. Um, that was pretty much it. My son won this in a dice game. A Nolan Ryan, some gold card with a authenticity thing. He thought it was cool. So pick that up. Um... Our best pickup by far of the show was this right here. For you guys that didn't see the first video, I traded the Emmett Smith for this. And it's a definitely a pretty, looks pretty cool in the background for sure. And that's where it's going to stay. So that was our weekend. It was a fun weekend. I uh, looked through a lot of stuff. Uh, could have looked through more. We ended up leaving a little bit before they actually closed. But that's alright. We spent enough. Did enough. To last for a while. So. That was day two. Um, hope you enjoyed the two videos of what we picked up. It was a neat show. And we'll definitely go to one later down the road. Maybe in Dallas or something when they do it. But uh, that's all I got for now. Um. Hope you had a good weekend, and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.